Hi everybody. In this video we're going to take a look at using a chemical formula to analyze a hydrate sample. We want to calculate what the percentage of water should be in the hydrate. The compound that I've selected to use for this calculation example is copper 2 sulfate. It does form a pentahydrate compound. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our analysis. So here we're looking at a picture of hydrated copper sulfate. Now first what we want to do is to calculate the molar mass for copper sulfate. So we look up the mass of copper from the periodic table at 63.55 and the formula tells us that we need just one mass for copper, 63.55. The chemical formula tells us that there's one sulfur, so that will be 32.07. There's one of those, so we're going to add that on to our list of masses. Finally, we need to look at the mass which is coming from oxygen. Now, because the chemical formula tells us with this subscript that there are four oxygens, we'll need to take the mass of oxygen, 16.00, multiply it by four to find the mass of 64.00. Now we're calculating the molar mass by adding these three masses together. So we calculate that it comes out to be 159.62. So that's 159.62 grams. This is the mass of the anhydrous or the dry form of copper sulfate. Now we want to think about how about copper sulfate when it's in the hydrated form. And we can see that it's got a very different appearance. It's got this bright blue color, whereas here it's much more faded appearance. Copper sulfate does form what we call a pentahydrate. That means for every one mole of copper sulfate, there will be five moles of water incorporated into the crystal lattice of the copper sulfate. So we know that the molar mass of the copper sulfate pentahydrate will include the 159.62 grams from the copper sulfate. We need to add on the additional mass which is coming from those five moles of water. So down here we're looking at calculating the molar mass of water. We find hydrogen on the periodic table. It is 1.01 grams per mole because the chemical formula tells that there's two parts hydrogen for every one part oxygen. We have to multiply by two to get 2.02. .02. One part oxygen, so we have 16.00 times one. Adding the two together gives us the molar mass of water, 18.02, .02, which will multiply by five. Remember that copper sulfate pentahydrate means that for every one mole of copper sulfate, there will be five moles of water. So five moles of water calculates out to 90.1. Uh, we could actually write 90.10 if we want to be consistent with our sig figs. So we're going to add those together in order to determine the molar mass of the hydrated form of copper sulfate. So we can see that that is happening right here, and we're filling in that, that value now. The molar mass for copper sulfate pentahydrate works out to be 249.72 grams per mole. Now, remember, we're using a chemical formula here to calculate percent of water in a hydrate compound. The molar masses that we've calculated, the 159.62, applies to the dry form of copper sulfate. Uh, so this is the form which has had the water removed. 249.72 applies to the, the wet form or the hydrated form. This is where we've got the copper sulfate and the water incorporated into it. The final thing that we want to take a look at is this. What should be the percentage of water in copper sulfate uh, pentahydrate sample based on its chemical formula. So in order to calculate a percentage, we always want to take the part divided by the total multiplied by 100. The part that we're interested in, because we're trying to calculate percent of water, would be the mass of water. So that would be the 90.10 grams that we calculated right over here. We're going to divide that by the total mass of the hydrated form of the copper sulfate. That would be the 249.72 grams mass uh, that we see right here. So we'll divide, we're going to multiply by 100, and this will allow us to calculate our percentage. And we're going to keep four sig figs because this value, 90.10, really has four sig figs. So we calculate the percent of water to be 36.08% water. Another video that I've posted includes uh, video footage of an actual student experiment to analyze a sample of copper sulfate pentahydrate and a additional video beyond that will analyze the student data to see if their results agree with this expected result of uh, the sample having 36.08 percent water. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this helpful.